Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi. It's Thursday, September 1st, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. The offseason seems to be a good start for rising 212 pro Tristan Escolastico. Earlier in the week, the former North American champ was spawned to getting in a little bit of back training as he continues to pack on size and round his physique into form. Back at last year's Phoenix Pro, Escolastico was one of the real pleasant surprises in the deepest non-Olympia lineup we've seen all season long, showing all sorts of promise with his top five finish. On paper, Escolastico certainly looks the part of someone who could start winning pro shows a whole lot sooner than later. But until we see him get his feet wet on stage, a few more times is still all nothing more than promise and speculation. Less than three weeks out from making his 2016 debut, Lucas Osladil looks like he's rounding into form. After snagging an early Olympia qualification with his win at last year's Phoenix Pro, Osladil took the early part of the season off to focus on making improvements and putting everything he had into his Olympia prep. At the moment, Osladil's conditioning looks to be spot on, which is par for the course for the Czech Republic native, who never seems to show up out of shape. Osladil has a small waist and some pretty nutty proportions, but even at 100%, it's going to be a struggle for him to get a sniff at the top 10. But if he stays the course and just focuses on playing his game, I still think he has the tools to give a few people a run for their money. In case you were having any doubts about whether or not Dexter Jackson was going to be ready for the Olympia, why don't you go ahead, sit back, and have a long look at your screen. This week, some new video popped up from Dexter's most recent guest posing appearance where we see the blade in classic form looking as sharp as we've ever seen him. Dexter's been as close to flawless as you can get in his two wins this season and seems like he's coming into the Olympia hell-bent on letting everyone know that his number two spot won't be up for the taking. A focused and determined Dexter Jackson is one hell of a force to be reckoned with. And I can say for certain that whoever is unlucky enough to get in his way is probably going to leave the arena with some bumps and bruises attached to their ego. Less than two weeks out from hitting the stage for the first time this season, things are starting to heat up for the one and only Alina Popa. Earlier this week, Popa was spotted training in her home base out of Dylan Armbrus Mile High Mecca as she enters into the home stretch of her prep for the upcoming IFBB Wings and Strength Rising Phoenix World Championships. At her best, Popa's combination of size, shape, and veteran stage presence make her as dangerous as anyone in the business. But after almost two full seasons away from the stage, you have to wonder if she might have a little bit of rust to knock off that'll keep her from being in that ultra-crazy Alina Popa form that we have all come to know and love. The race for the 212 Olympia crown is starting to heat up and it looks like New York's very own Marco Rivera is throwing his name into the swirling pot of competitors all looking to stake their claim. This week, some new pictures and video surfaced of a nutty looking version of Marco just under three weeks out from making his second straight trip to the Olympia, where he'll be looking to come in and avenge last year's third place finish. In his two appearances this season, Rivera has been solid, taking second and third at the New York Pro and Puerto Rico Pro Show. If he can find a way to bring that same level of conditioning and fullness along with him to Vegas this year, I think he has a legitimate shot to really make some noise in the desert. And that does it for yet another episode of Muscle in the Morning brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Visit IronMagLabs.com today. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Tadeem Faruqi, reminding you to keep it locked to RxMuscle.com, the Muscle Central Forum, and our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.